Welcome to the conversation at airsafe.com. I'm your host, Dr. Todd Curtis. This is show number 70, Discovery of the Steve Fawcett Crash Site. On September 3rd, 2007, adventurer Steve Fawcett took off from Yarrington, Nevada on a short flight in a Blanca Super Decathlon and went missing. After more than a year, a hiker found some of his personal effects high in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California on September 29, 2008. Two days later, authorities spotted wreckage from his aircraft. Possible human remains were also found at the site. The aircraft crashed into a steep granite slope at an elevation of about 10,000 feet, seven miles west of the town of Mammoth Lakes, California. The crash site is about 93 miles, or 150 kilometers, south of Yarrington, Nevada. Pieces of the plane were scattered over a steeply sloped area, with the engine about 300 feet from the fuselage wreckage. There was also evidence of a post-crash fire. Fawcett was the only occupant. According to an earlier NTSB report, Fawcett's most recent medical certificate was completed seven months before his final flight. At that time, he had over 6,700 hours of flight experience, with 350 hours in the previous six months. He was certified as an airline transport pilot and was also certified to fly a balloon, helicopter, seaplane, and glider. He had set over 100 records in five different sports, including over 90 in aviation. Among those aviation records was the first solo and non-stop flight around the world in an aircraft, as well as the first solo around the world balloon flight. Outside of aviation, he had also sailed around the world and swam across the English Channel. The accident aircraft was a Belanga Decathlon, a two-seat single-engine aerobatic aircraft. That model was produced between 1970 and 1981, and the accident aircraft was manufactured in 1980. According to the NTSB, between 1973 and 2008, there have been 105 decathlon accidents, with 80 resulting in fatalities. The NTSB has sent a team to investigate the crash and is headed by the NTSB chairman, Mark Rosenker. The investigation, including a determination of the probable cause of the accident, will likely take several months to complete. Additional information about this event, including updates or findings from the NTSB investigation, will be available at faucet.airsafe.org. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.